Muncie, Indiana, Middletown, USA, the crossroads of America, home of Garfield the Cat, the joy of painting with Bob Ross, and Ball State University. Muncie was once the center of industry. The discovery of natural gas in the late 1800s attracted manufacturers like the Ball Brothers Glass Manufacturing Company to relocate to this booming industrial Midwestern city. The Ball Brothers made Muncie their home, and their legacy and generosity can be seen throughout the community. But Muncie has another benefactor whose legacy lives on in the heart of downtown Muncie, Andrew Carnegie. The Carnegie Library, constructed in 1902 with funds from philanthropist Andrew Carnegie, is one of Muncie's community treasures. An architectural beauty in the heart of the city, the library stands as a testament to the valued place not only on equal access to information, but also on the importance of preserving our community's history. Historic preservation of an Indiana landmark like this comes with many challenges. It takes the support of a community to keep community treasures like this alive for future generations, but the rewards far outweigh the costs. The Muncie Public Library is dedicated to maintaining this historic Indiana landmark, and so we are taking a closer look at where we came from, where we are, and where we're going. We're consulting the experts and taking steps to ensure the future of our Carnegie Library a community treasure. When over a century ago, Muncie was in need of a new library, the city turned to Andrew Carnegie for assistance. The Muncie Public Library was established in 1875 as a small reading room in the city building. Muncie was a growing industrial city then, and it wasn't long before the population was in need of a dedicated library facility. On February 21, 1901, the Muncie Library Board met and decided to write a letter to Andrew Carnegie to ask for a $50,000 gift to the city of Muncie for library purposes. Andrew Carnegie had just sold his steel company to J.P. Morgan for $480 million and devoted his life to philanthropy with special emphasis on local libraries. Muncie's commercial club submitted a letter to which Mr. Carnegie replied he would be happy to donate the $50,000 on the terms that the city spent $5,000 each year for the upkeep of the library. The city council accepted, and with an additional donation from local county clerk and banker George W. Spilker, the city was able to purchase land downtown at the corner of Jackson and Jefferson Street. The library was designed by Marshall S. Mahuron of Fort Wayne, and the construction contract was awarded to Morrow & Morrow of Muncie. Mahuron's architectural firm was known for designing several Indiana County courthouses, and his design of the Muncie Public Library attempted to immortalize both the neoclassical aspirations of the 19th century and Andrew Carnegie's generous donation to the community. Constructed of Indiana limestone, the building harmonizes Greek and Roman classical architectural forms. The northern facade of the building depicts carved muses and two semi-reclined human figures of cut stone encompassed by classically inspired ornamentation. Flanking the entrance are two finely carved and well-preserved panels of sculpted muses, including law, science, and prose. Inside, the central feature of the main floor of the library is a grand Roman classical dome containing stained glass and supported by freestanding columns. Muncie laid the foundation for the library building on June 1, 1902. The Carnegie Library remained the only public library building in Muncie until the second branch opened in 1930. Carnegie Library then became the main branch of the library system. The system continued to grow with additional branches opening around the city. In later decades, Muncie became part of the Rust Belt as factories shut down and the population of the city declined. The internet created cultural shifts in how we acquire information and entertainment. Consequently, a transition occurred in both the role and the funding of the public libraries. The Muncie Library System decided to merge the historic Carnegie Library with the local history and genealogy branch, this would allow Muncie Public Library to continue sharing Muncie and Delaware County's unique stories from one downtown location. It would no longer be a circulating branch, but would provide ample space for the growing collections of local history documents and artifacts, and would be dedicated to digitizing and making these records available to researchers all over the world, something Andrew Carnegie would be proud of. Muncie's Carnegie Library is one of the only public library branches fully dedicated to local history and genealogy and its local history database is one of the largest in scope of any public library. The Carnegie Library is also a gathering place in downtown Muncie for exchanging information and ideas. The meeting space is utilized for public meetings, cultural events, and educational programs. It is fitting that Carnegie Library continues to be a beacon of knowledge and research, a place to exchange information and ideas. 
1976, Carnegie Library was placed on the National Register of Historic Places. This register recognizes Carnegie Library worthy of preservation for its historical significance. In 2002, the building underwent a complete remodel to modernize electrical systems, heating and cooling, and accessibility, while still maintaining the historical architectural features such as the stained glass dome, exterior relief sculptures, and columns. Historic buildings require continual care and can be challenging to maintain, but it's worth the effort. Carnegie Library is lucky to be a part of a revitalized downtown Muncie. Over the past several years, downtown has seen many historic buildings refreshed, a thriving new community of businesses, residents and students, exciting community events, and a return to the original Muncie. Just as the Carnegie Library is part of Muncie's history, we want to see this historic building as part of Muncie's story yet to be written. We hope that you will join us in preserving this Indiana landmark, this community treasure.